It's week 18 of the National Football League, and our focus is on Romeo Dobbs. He comes into this one fifth in the NFL in touchdown receptions. It's the Packers and the Bears, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. Well, nothing like some winter storms to change the complexion of a game before it begins, huh? We've got some snow greenness for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. One final time this regular season. As always, joined by Brock Hewitt, I'm Kate Scott, as we get ready to put a bow on what has been an outstanding 18 weeks of football. And for 14 lucky teams across the NFL, Kate, this isn't the end for them. This is their last chance to tune up before they play on in the postseason chasing that Super Bowl ring. Mm -hmm. But for the other 18, this is it. Their final chapter. Their final chapter in a story to take the field until September rolls around again. And for some, frankly, well, this might be the last time they ever put the pads on. So leave everything you got out there and do everything in your power to go get that win in this final week. There's always something special about snowfall at the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. And here we go from Lambeau. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So out come the Bears, ready for their first possession. And leading them out to the number one overall pick in this year's draft out of USC, a player with immense promise, Caleb Williams. Doesn't it feel like Caleb Williams has been like the number one pick for the last three years? This guy just does things no one else can do. Seeing him in person a number of times, Kate, in college, truly, he could be an NFL running back. The man, he throws it so pure, a quick release, an accurate passer. Now he's just got to learn this NFL game. It's a more condensed box. There's a pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. Has his man, it's a Dunze. And he's gonna be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you gotta earn the right to rush your passer. You gotta earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Forced out to his right. He's running for it. And he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock, you know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. It's a good thing you woke up to it, able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. So the Packers offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by the Utah State product and former first rounder back in 2020, Jordan Love. It took Jordan Love a little while for him to get his chance to start in the NFL. He had to watch Aaron Rodgers for a number of years, but guess what? Aaron had to watch Brett and it paid huge dividends. And it sure looks like Jordan Love to start his career is doing the same. He didn't just watch Aaron Rodgers. He worked on his game. He developed his game over three years. And when he got his chance, he sure looked like a young star at the position. And they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. Ready, ready. Going run again with Jacobs. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Kevin Byard there to bring him down. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Almost an opening drive interception, but that winds up on the ground incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Punter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And it's going to be Bears football. Back out comes the Chicago offense for their second try. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. 
Finds his running back, DeAndre Swift. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Now here's DeAndre Swift on the ground. And he gets it forward to steal about a yard out of that. Edger and Cooper there to make the stop. That's the rookie from Texas A&M who took him down. Here's Swift on second down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he's able to get this down to the 36. He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. And it gave him just enough room to run. So on fourth down, out is Cairo Santos for the Bears field goal. Ball on the left hash, the distance 53 yards. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Fielded at the seven. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Let's go now. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him around six, that's going to make it second and The Packers take their first time out. And after using an early one, two left for him to spend. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They stick with Jacobs. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so that's going to bring them to third down and three. Love from the gun. That finds Jacobs complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. These two NFC North teams have played one so far. Just three to nothing is our score. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. Time for our second quarter. It'll be Packer football to begin. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. Tyreek Stevenson getting up to track that one down. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Now 
And the Bears bring in an extra defensive back for this third down. Set, ready, cut, cut. Shotgun now for Love. That's complete inside the 35. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Let's go. Ready? Jacobs. Will not get past the line. He's held up at the four. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. He'll try again from the four. It's second and goal. Ready. Hand off here to Jacobs. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Give him three yards, and they're just inches away on third down. It's now third and goal. Here we go. Jacobs running behind center. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Packers take a second quarter lead. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. Now how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. And it's no good. Perhaps the snow making things a little difficult for him there as that one winds up off the mark. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Vanless Jones now on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. The Bears about set for their next possession. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. First down throw by Williams. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. Now throw in the direction of D.J. Moore, and that'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, here's Williams. No better luck than the last play, Brock, as he just has to get rid of it. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Williams from the gun. Flushed out of the puck. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. You know, when we watch Combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10, because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Packers will take over possession. New set of downs for him from the 46. Set, punt. Set. On first and 10, here's Love. Gets this one to Watson. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. 
Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Ready, ready. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Uh, on the handoff, here's Jacobs. And it's a gain of five as we've reached our two-minute warning. A less than ideal third and eight here. Down. Love out of the shotgun. Makes the grabbing bounds left side. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 31-yard play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. Ready? First down throw. Here's Love. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is, if he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. Second and ten, Love trying again. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And things look tougher now with third and long. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Come on, set. Throwing his love on third. We put way too much on that one, Brock. Over the end zone and out. You know, down here in the red zone where there's a touchdown on the line, you really want to read the quarterback's eyes as a defender. Make sure you know where that throw is going and get it positioned and swat it away. That is well done. Okay, break. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. Here we go, set. Takes the handoff, now Love. And that one's going to be knocked away, and that's going to force a change in possession. And a surprising fourth down call does not yield a first. This doesn't get there. It's a turnover on downs. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working from the gun, Williams. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Andrew and Cooper takes it away. Oh, he was looking. <laughs> Trying to find a lane, but just simply nowhere to go. I don't think he'll be too heartbroken heading to the sidelines, though. He still made the play, took the ball away, got his defense off the field, and now sets his offense up for success. Here we go. Thrown on first down, Love. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Ready. Jacobs with it. And he's short of the first after. Timeout taken by the Packers, their third and final one. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Third and six for them to figure out now. Let's go. Reed will go in motion right. Turning to Jacobs on third. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Four yards there, but just can't get him in. It's fourth and goal from the one. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. They went for it. Four yards they needed. 
end, and that keeps this drive alive. Well, that's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get to get past the marker. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit. And that's been a back and forth game, all tied in the second quarter. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. Nico Collins, a touchdown reception. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last as we head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Russell Gage, a touchdown reception. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The big story thus far has really been the snow. It's made footing treacherous. And if the forecast holds, it's only going to get worse. But I can tell you as a fan, these are the games you love to watch. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt. Santos has it all teed up and ready to send this away. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Here's the Packer offense, headed out to start the third quarter. And it has been all about these defenses so far, Brock. Even into the second half, we're still waiting for one of these offenses to take charge. Yeah, what you're feeling, these defenses are making every yard tough, every first down tough, every series tough. And offensively, yeah, it's time to toughen up, and maybe more importantly, sharpen up. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. He locates a couple of yards through that chaos. Hit made by T.J. Edwards. The Bears into the nickel for third down. Love now. And he didn't get enough into that throw. That's low and incomplete. So they're going to be facing fourth down coming up. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Fair catch taken. Not the punt that they were looking for. Excellent field position awaits. So no return on that punt. And they're going to take over possession. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down, here's Swift. Oh, he gets clobbered behind the line. That's got to be so frustrating for the runner. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Cut at the 10-yard line. And he takes this in. Touchdown, Chicago. The Bears grab the lead on their first series of the half. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. Now Cairo Santos on to add the PAT. His kick is good, for the moment at least, as we've got a flag down on the field. I think they're going to get him for hitting the kicker. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff's going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. 
The Packers ready to run their offense back out there. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. First and 10 now from the 30. Let's go now. They go counter, it's Jacobs. And he'll get it up to the 44. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Packers. And one of the NFL's longest standing records stands no longer. He's crossed 2,105 yards rushing and officially supplanted Eric Dickerson with the greatest single season running the football this league has ever seen. Incredible, congratulations. Well, once you join the rarefied air at the 2,000-yard plateau, next thing you look to is the single-season rushing record. And with that carry, he has set the new NFL record. Hey, let's be honest. With how pass-heavy this league has become, did you ever, ever expect to see this one fall? <laughs> That's a great question. Can't say I did. Opportunities for a back to challenge records like this, Kate, don't come often. And now he's got a record that should stand for quite some time. Second and six coming up here. Come on, set! They run it with Jacobs. And he has this one past the 50 and will start downhill into Bears territory. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. Here we go. To the air with Love. He puts everything behind this one. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. The Packers send out their punting unit. It'll be Daniel Whelan doing the honors. And he doesn't put much height or distance on this one. And it's the same as a touchback here. This one down right at the 20-yard line. The Bears offense now heads back out to the field. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Here's Swift to start the drive. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his old line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Chicago brings out the punting unit. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Takes this in the area of midfield. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Packers returning their offense and this running back to the field. And they have tried on occasion to ramp up their passing game, but just nothing has worked with consistency yet, Brock. Might be why they trail near the end of this third quarter. You sure love teams who excel on the ground, right? You love a physical game yeah. of football who can hammer at the opponent. But in today's NFL, it's just impossible to win if you don't have a passing component that's balancing it out. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort. Couple of yards. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. Second down now, seven to go. Set, ready, set. From the 38. Pass cut, nine-yard line. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. If only every completion could get that kind of result. That's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Let's go. They'll run Jacobs. And they beat him to the edge. That run. The line. No gain that time, and now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. 
You've learned so much about a football team in these goal-to-go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. Only one quarter remaining now in these teams' regular season. It's Packers football, and they know what they need to do. Trailing here in the fourth. Line of scrimmage once again. That seven-yard line as they get set. Second and goal. Here we go. Again, it's Jacobs. And they'll make the stop after a small push to the five. Just a couple on that play. It's going to be third and goal. again he doesn't manage much before getting brought down they maybe get a yard there still can't manage to run it in that's going to bring up fourth and goal this front well they've done a good job bending and not breaking first down didn't score second down didn't score and now third and goal can't find the end zone either ready ready they'll run for it jacobs and there was no place to go. He blew that run up at the line. And he will not get there. They stop him on fourth and goal. What a stand to force that turnover on downs. These fourth down runs, it's all about want to and will. Want to keep it conservative offensively, try to move it across. But that defense was having none of it. And now they get themselves off the field. The Bears and Caleb Williams running out for their next drive. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Now an inside handoff to Swift. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing from near his own goal line. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. He'll throw it. Moore's got it. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Running behind center with Swift. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Staying grounded with Swift. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Gets him those three yards back, but it brings up third and ten now. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Looking to throw. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. They're out now, ready to punt it. Torrey Taylor will kick this away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. Feels this clean at the 30. And he gets his guys a few... Before they bring him down on the return. 58 yards on the punt there. And they'll get ready to go on offense. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten coming up. Down. 
looking to throw it. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. Looking for his wide receiver there. And it's going to be second down. Let's go now. Ready? Here he is to throw. Trying to push it deep downfield. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. That one firmly denied by the man in coverage. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? You got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Ooh, very fortunate that didn't go as a turnover. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Come on, set. Throwing now. And it falls incomplete. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Here come the Bears back out on offense. That defensive stand might have been the final effort needed to seal away the victory, Brock, but can't quite take off the pads just yet. Offense has to finish this one out. Yeah, a few things here, Kate, to keep in mind, right? Gotta slow the game down as a quarterback. Take every second off the clock. Oh, you guard it with your life, and you make sure your defense doesn't come on the field again. They just did their job, now you gotta do yours. Here's Swift on second down. And he's able to drive this to the 20. Stop. Timeout taken by the Packers, their third and final one. Victory formation here, looks like they're gonna take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as time winds down in this one. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. With a win in hand, they'll take the knee, let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. They take a knee here, and that's going to close out the regular season with a victory. So the Bears take this one on the road. And they end the season on a great note, Brock, with a W in the final chapter of this year's campaign. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Bears winners, as we say so long from Green Bay.